Hello everybody and welcome to the Scouting Report. I'm Dan Hayek here with Armchair Analyst Matt Doyle and today we're previewing the Saturday evening match between DC United and the Montreal Impact. Matt, let's turn our attention first to the headlines. Of course, Eddie Johnson not called into the U.S. national team camp heading into the World Cup and Ben Olsen is disappointed for his star striker. I'm wondering, is this the exact motivation Eddie Johnson needs to become the goal threat we know he can be? Well, it's hard to get into a player's head unless you've played at that level and you know, been victim of a sim similar snub. But from where I'm sitting, I mean, this has to work for, for Eddie Johnson in terms of lighting a fire under him. And this is where his potential to produce with DC has to, has to become a reality. Because yeah. he, he's had some good moments. He's had two goals called back for incorrect offside calls recently. So it's right on the precipice. I think if you're a DC United fan, you have to hope that suddenly he becomes the EJ that we saw last year with the U.S. national team and two years ago with Seattle. Yeah, and he had 17 caps last year with the U.S. national team. Let's not forget. Yeah, he's right to be disappointed. But now let's turn our attention to the Montreal Impact with a question from Twitter. At Louis Blackier asks, can the Impact continue to play the possession game against D.C.? Well, I, I think they need to play the possession game. I think they need to play it a little better than they have been. They have to defend with the ball because their back line is so bad that they can't really defend against runners and they can't really defend in transition. People are getting in between the two center backs all the time and when that happens you give up goals or you force Troy Perkins to make some insane saves and he's had a bunch of good ones but no keeper is going to keep clean sheets w when the defense is struggling like it is yeah. in Montreal. So they need to hold the ball, maybe hold it a little bit deeper than they have been so they don't allow run out in the wrong direction and also they open up space behind the opposing defense as they push up for guys like Justin Mapson and Anyasi and whoever else they want to throw into the mix. Maybe Jack Mack, he had a good midweek performance in the Canadian Championship with two goals. They really want to get him rolling in this attack. All right, well, we'll find out how this one unfolds on Saturday. It kicks off at 7 p.m. Eastern time and you can watch it on MLS Live.